is Al, and I am a roller coaster junkie. I've ridden 294 roller coasters at 78 amusement parks in 24 states. And uh, at first, that may sound like a lot, but it's really not. Last time I checked, the global count was 2,431. So I have a ways to go. Uh, so what got me hooked? So as a kid, when I reached 48 inches tall, <laughs> I took a ride on the Blue Streak at Cedar Point. And ever since then, I've been an addict. Um, coasters, there are two main types, wood and steel. The steel ones you can break down into different flavors, and there are lots of ways to different ride, or lots of different ways to ride them, including flying or standing up. Uh, records. So, what can you do on a coaster? You can go 149 miles an hour. You can drop 418 feet. You can go on a ride that's over 8,000 feet long, and you can go upside down 10 times on the same ride. So how do roller coasters work? So trains are either pulled or launched to the top of a hill. From that point on, gravity takes over, and it's all about potential and kinetic energy. All right, let's talk history. So roller coasters started out as ice slides, and then people added wheels, followed by track, and that led to the invention of the first modern roller coaster called the Switchback Railway. And speaking of history, this is the oldest operating roller coaster in the world. It's called Leap the Dips, and it's been going since 1902. You can ride this in Pennsylvania. Uh, so rides built during the 1920s, 30s, and 40s offer a traditional coaster wooden experience. These are classics. Uh, steel coasters are good, too. Here are a couple of landmarks. Loch Ness Monster has interlocking loops. And Magnum was the first coaster to break the 200-foot high barrier. And this is the beast. This is the longest wooden roller coaster in the world. It's in Ohio. It has 7,400 feet of track that takes people on a four-minute ride through the woods. Top Thrill Dragster <laughs> launches riders from zero to 120 miles per hour in four seconds. Then it's 400 feet straight up and 400 feet straight down with a twist. Here's an interesting one. This one is called Hades, and it's aptly named. It takes riders underground on a course in the dark. Underground. OK, here's some ride tips. So when you're choosing your seat, keep in mind that the front will give you the best view, the middle will be the smoothest, but the back seat will always be the best ride. And here are some things to watch out for that can ruin an otherwise good ride. So mid-course brakes, ratcheting lap bars, and over-the-shoulder restraints, no good. All right, so in Phoenix, and actually in all of Arizona, there are only three roller coasters, and two of those are kiddie rides. <laughs> so people looking for more adventure may need to go to neighboring states. If you go to one of the neighboring states, your best bet is California. They have a record 78 roller coasters. OK, coming up is... Um, my favorite steel coaster, Millennium Force. Uh, first drop is 300 feet at an 80 degree angle, and it takes you on a nice, long, intense, but smooth ride. <laughs> and here, this is my all time favorite coaster of any type overall. This is The Voyage at Holiday World in Santa Claus, Indiana. If you go on this, prepare yourself for, a no for nonstop action from start to finish. So, why not plan your next trip to include an amusement park? And remember, 
when you're on a good coaster, nothing else matters. <laughs>